What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima Eye Device Vids, and this is Tweak Recap. And as always, I'm going to be showing you guys five of the best city tweaks that are compatible with the latest version of iOS that is capable of running a jailbreak. At this time, it's iOS 8.1.2, and let's get right into it. And the first tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Sleeper. It's available in Cydia for 99 cents. And what this tweak allows you to do is adjust the snooze time for alarms in the stock clock app. So by default, you cannot configure this. So when you're setting an alarm, by default, the snooze time, if you have snooze enabled, is 9 minutes. And you just can't do anything about that. Let's say you wanted your snooze to be, I don't know, at 3 minutes. Maybe you wanted shorter intervals between your alarm going off. Again, if you have snooze enabled, this tweak allows you to do just that. That doesn't, again, that's not normally there in iOS. So as you can see, I just started to create an alarm, and down at the bottom, we do have this new button. It's titled Snooze Time, and if we select it, we have the ability to, again, change the snooze time. It's very easy to use. You could just slide it up or down like this for minutes, and same thing with seconds, hours, even if you want to have, you know, hours in between uh, your snooze times. You can do whatever you want. You can customize it all to your liking, again, using this new menu inside the alarm clock settings. And also, there is this button down here that allows you to reset it to default, which again is 9 minutes, as you can see, just like that. And that's all for this tweak. There's no settings or anything like that to configure, and it's a really good tweak. It's just so practical. I'm not sure why Apple wouldn't include this in iOS normally. I mean, it just makes so much sense if you think about it. Once again, it's available in Cydia for $0.99. Cents. And the next tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called App ETA. This one's available in Cydia for $0.99 cents as well. However, if you own the original version of App ETA back on iOS 7, this version is now free. And what this tweak allows you to do is gauge using a percentage, basically the progress of an application downloading from the App Store. And there are various options that you can configure for this tweak. But, you know, at its most basic I don't know, explanation, that's basically what it is. So let's say I'm in the App Store and you want to download an application. As you can see, here's Facebook. And I'm just going to go ahead and start the download process. And inside the app, it's actually not, as you can see, going to give me a percentage. However, if I exit out to the home screen, as you can see on the app right there, it gives me a percentage of the download. And it's just very practical. It allows you to quickly or easily gauge the percentage of a downloading application. This could be especially useful if you have a very large app that you're downloading and you want to know again exactly what percentage it's at. This tweak again is going to be very nice for that circumstance and as soon as it's done it'll reach 100% and then the app will of course, as you'd expect, just be accessible as you're going to see here in just a second yeah, as soon as it's done installing. So, waiting and there we go just like that as you can see right there. And there are various settings to configure for this tweak. So again, you could go into settings on your device and scroll down until you do see app ETA. And you could go in there. And in here, here are the options. So if you go into configuration, here are all the options. So as you can see right here, there's gestures you could configure to activate the tweak. And I'm not going to go over all this with you, but you could basically uh, configure all that to your liking. And again, once you're done with any of these options, you just want to make sure you respring your device to apply all the changes. And of course, here's the toggle. And you could go into about and you could get some of the developers information and some of the developers other tweaks and that's all for this tweak once again it's called app eta it's available in cydia for 99 cents and the next tweak i'm going to be showing you guys is called cobalia it's available in cydia for free and this tweak basically adds toggles useful toggles to the multitasking of as you can see up here at the top now by default in ios it would show your recent contacts there and a lot of people complained about that that it was kind of a random pointless thing and I personally don't really have an issue with it. I mean, it doesn't really do us any harm, so I don't know what the big deal is. But anyways, this week allows you to, as you can see, put toggles there instead. Now, obviously, you still have the control center. Or, you know, By default, you just have the control center for this. So I'm not sure why I would go into the uh, multitasking as opposed to just swiping up for control center. But again, it's entirely up to you. And this tweak does implement the toggles up here in a very efficient or very stable manner. As you can see, they're very... Uh, aesthetically pleasing how everything kind of adjusts as you can see this the swiping is very smooth it does a very good job at what it's doing but I'm just not entirely sure for my personal usage at least uh, why I would install this or why I would use that over control center but once again it's called Cobelia it's available in Cydia for free and there are some settings to configure for Cobelia if you go into settings and then Cobelia uh, of course you have the enable switch and there's some other options down here and you can actually to, uh, change what switches show up so you have the enabled and disabled section and you could drag things into and out of the enabled section and it will take effect immediately as you can see right here uh, I just added one over there and then it just shows up let's take one away let's say we don't want airplane mode anymore 
we could drag that down to disabled and then open up our app switch right as you can see they're gone once again the tweaks call cobelia it's available in Cydia for free and next we have date in status bar and you've been looking at it this entire time as you can see up in my status bar I not only have the time like I normally do but I also have the date so normally in iOS as you can see it will only give you the time up at the top in the status bar on the home screen or inside of applications but again this tweak brings the date there so let's say you're inside an application and you want to know what the date is you know you don't have to exit out or uh, lock your device you could just see it right from whatever the app is so of course in normal iOS it does show you on the lock screen however again that's not convenient you may have to lock your device in order to get to this or just look at the calendar it's very good because it uses unused space up here that nothing else is using assuming you don't have a bunch of other icons in your status bar and you does something useful with it so once again it's called date and status bar it's available in city for free and there's no settings to configure and the fifth and final tweak I'm going to be showing you guys is called Walmart. It's available on Cydia for free. And the reason I'm saying it like that is because the tweak name is W-A-L-L-M-A-R-T. And what this tweak does is it will allow you to cycle the photos in a particular album in your Photos app as your wallpaper. So you would need to choose an album in your Photos uh, application here. I just use the camera roll. And again, it's going to cycle those photos as your wallpaper. So as you can see right here, this is what my, what my wallpaper is right now. And as soon as I locked my device and then waked it back up, uh, the wallpaper will shift to a different picture in that album. As you can see right there, it's actually a different picture. It has a lamp, and the other one was just without a lamp. And again, those are the only two actual pictures in my album up here. As you can see, I have this one with the lamp, and then this one uh, without the lamp. So again, let's say I were to lock my device again, and this is the one that's on right now, as you can see. Basically what it's going to do is, as soon as I wake my device up again, it's going to change the photo. There you go, as you can see. So if you have a ton of photos in a particular album and you just like to change up your wallpaper, this is great because it'll just shuffle that. Whenever you lock your device, wake it back up, you'll be greeted with a brand new wallpaper. And what you're going to need to do to set this up is go into settings on your device and find Walmart and go in there. And in here, what you want to do is scroll down until you see choose album, select that, and then in here it will list all of your albums. So the only one that I have on this device is camera roll, but if you had other ones, you'd be able to check those as well. And there are other settings, as you can see, you could configure inside here. For example, wallpaper mode, you could have it so it only takes an effect on the lock screen or the home screen or both, which is what I have checked right now. And there's also some other settings in here. Also, the developer's info is down here. And once again, that's all for this tweak. It's called Walmart. It's available in Cydia for free, and there are two L's in the name. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.